Tell the Lord thank you for waking us up this morning. Not thank you. Because he didn't have to do it. But he did. So Lord, I say thank you. Our Heavenly Father, we come this morning thanking you for being God all by yourself in all our lives. Lord, I just want to thank you for keeping me, for keeping me, Lord, while I slept and slumber last night. Lord, somebody didn't wake up this morning. They got their ticket on to glory. But you allowed us to see one more day. Hey, and I say thank you, Lord, because you didn't have to do it. Oh, Lord, I just want to you know, my I've been going through something ever since Tuesday. I said, Lord, I just couldn't understand what was happening. But when you showed me some things, I had to say, Lord, I thank you. You know, we may not always see things the way God sees things, but he's always control. He got a plan. We don't know what his plan is, but Lord, I thank you that you allow this happen for a reason to bring your people closer to you. It's all about you. You let this happen. It ain't no secret. You let this happen. And it's for a reason. It's to bring us closer to you, Lord. But see, I know what your words say. See, Lord, I had that feeling in my stomach, I, and I felt so, oh, so, so something. I just couldn't explain it, Lord. But when you touch my soul, and I know you got a plan, and I know it was you that lifted that out of me. So, Lord, right now I'm asking you to lift it out of everybody who, who's got that that spirit of don't know what's gonna happen. But this one thing I do know, Lord, you don't let nothing happen unless you want it to happen. So I know this is your plan, not man's plan, but your plan. You let this happen. And then when I ask you, Lord, why? You show me. You say it could go so bad if you didn't intervene. So I thank you, Lord, for intervening. Yes, Lord, because you came in. Because you, in your word, you said, you'll make my enemies my footstool. You said in your word, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's your word, Lord. I'm standing on your word. Hey, Lord, that's a problem. And I thank you for all your problems. Lord, you said in your word that you'll make if I go to my brother and I say, I'm sorry, and they don't want to take my apology, that's called the fire on their heads. So, Lord, I thank you. Hey, for renewing my mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Leave this nation. Leave this world. I know. I heard Steve Harvey say he was that sick of America because the way things happen. But he got to know you let things happen for your reason. Because of your plan. But all the only thing we got to do is to stand firm and know that you got us covered from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. We got to be believers and then everybody that don't agree with us, that's okay. Because you know what? You won't have the last say so. And whatever you say is going to be well done. That good and faithful servant. But you got to know you are part of the kingdom. Lord, I know you can change things. You in the Sunday school lesson. You said how they change. He went out preaching, telling the word. And the, you stepped in and they change. So Lord, I know this world can change. Because you don't let nothing happen to none of your people. 
the Lord, I said, thank you. I'm thanking you in advance. Because I know whatever happens, you allow it to happen. Not man. The Lord, I say thank you. That spirit that is flowing in this nation, Lord, I ask you to delete it and put love and hope and understanding, kindness in it. Because we can be great people if we work together. And we got to work together in your name, Father. We got to show love. We got to show love, kindness. And Lord, you said even in your word, in the Son of God, you said, faith ain't got nothing to offer us. He gonna be judged too. So I know you got us. So I ask you, just keep us, Father. Let us stand bold for you. Lord, I pray for the sick, the shedding, the one behind prison walls, the one that don't know you. Lord, I pray for strength for all your soldiers that we can stand firm on your word. Lord, I pray for the pastor. Let him be bold for you, all men and women of God. Lord, let them be bold for you. It's a time when we got to stand firm on your word and all the promises that you have given us. And so, Lord, we say thank you in advance. And keep us, Father. Keep us, Lord. Keep us, Lord. Keep us, Lord. Because healing is in the land. Heal our mind. Heal our body. Heal our finances. Oh, and I thank you in advance for what all you have already done and what you're going to do. These are the blessings I ask in your name, Father God. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And